you're probably wondering why I'm stood at the back of the uh, little Leyland 245 looking at the pickup hitch and uh, let me explain if you remember in one of the last videos we took the uh, pickup hitch um, like um, disengaging pin out and I left me pliers and I put all the components on the back and then I drove off down the yard and lost them well the news is they're still lost we haven't found them uh, so what we've done is we've fabricated some new parts and I've just test fitted them to make sure they work and they do so what I'm going to do now is strip them down um, strip them down clean them up give them a bit of paint let them dry then put them back together then that job's finished welcome to uh, mend it Monday everything's breaking and going wrong this week and uh, we've had disaster after disaster the Duke and Bob have got the Manor 2 in bits. They've got the front wheels off and they've decided to disconnect the um, joystick in the cab uh, and strip that down because apparently it's worn and now it's in a thousand pieces. Will we get a new one? We don't know. Uh, they've done the shackle bush pins at the front and uh, re-welded those up and had them machined out. New bushes, new bits and bobs, so I'll show you that later on. And uh, basically, I'm at the back of the pickup pitch. I've uh, refurbished it all. So I'll get some tools out of the box and uh, I'll show you basically what we've manufactured, what we've made, and um, then we'll, we'll clean it up and paint it. Let some tools out. See what we can do in here. So I've just stripped it down, uh, I've got all the components out now, I'll take them over to the bench and I'll show you basically what we've manufactured and what we've made, it's a little bit Heath Robinson but it does the job and uh, I'll run you through what we've done, then I'm going to put a lick of paint on it, uh, put it back together and uh, hopefully happy days, should work, fingers crossed. Mm. Right, I don't know if you can see or not but uh, that's the pickup hitch cable there that comes down from the cab. And just there, we've welded five nuts together, five M8 nuts, all welded together to make a external sleeve. And we've got a piece of threaded bar that goes into that, to a shackle, to the spring, which goes through there, to the pin. And uh, I'll show you all that on the bench now. Hope you can see this all right. That's the spring. So we'll take that off. That's the... Um, pin that goes through the pickup hitch attachment that comes out of there that slides off there right so the bit we actually lost on the back of the tractor was that part there which is like a square with two two side pieces on and uh, i took that off as you know in the last video left it on the back of the tractor drove off and uh yeah never to be seen again so basically that's what we made and all it is, is a piece of box section with a nut welded down the middle. Then we've got a piece of threaded bar, crimped the ends over and drilled a hole in it for the clevis pin. And that works perfect. That just does the job. Basically, it's just a copy version of a, what Leyland would have made back in the day. So I'm just going to clean those up, uh, give them a bit of paint and uh, yeah, then refit them all back on. And hopefully that should work. Must remember not to leave me red pliers there again. I found them last time, but I don't think I'll be uh, that lucky this time. Did I mention it's uh, Mend It Monday? Oh dear. That's the, um, that's the beacon off the Leyland, which should be up there. And that packed up working. That stopped working. Reason being, the... Um, I don't know if I can get you looking it. Let's have a look. The reason being, in the top of the cab roof, just there, is the wiper motor underneath here. And there's a rod that goes to the wiper. And unfortunately, one of the wires got caught up in it and it pulled them all out. So, if I had to take the roof off, as you can see, 
which is a job and half in itself. <laughs> Take the roof off to get to the wires and untangle them from around the uh, mechanism. Uh, luckily it only pulled the connector apart so we've, we've managed to put that back together and so we've got the roof off so while that's off we've mended the radio aerial because that was not working properly and uh, we've got the roof down here in the, in the bottom workshop so there she is there's the roof so we've given it a lick of paint in uh, silver grey we've got that for it and uh, I've found the decals found the Leyland decals to put across there so I'm going to put those on a bit later on and uh, we've painted this back side made it a lot uh, you know refurbished it and we've got the number plate to put back on so that's just drying and that can go back on the uh, on the on the roof so it's all go everything's breaking and then also coming in the other day got a vibration and a rumble on the van there's the alternator bearings have gone and what a swine of a job that was to get off Iveco daily and the bolt sheared off on the bracket there so we had to get the grinder in and cut it out to get it off luckily we got a new uh, alternator in the stores so we fixed that job um and then i just walked outside in the yard about an hour ago and the windscreen wipers were going on the car the keys in my pocket the car's locked up and the windscreen wipers are working and it's a citroen i suppose that's my own fault um here it is look that's the van we did the alternator on Citroen C5 and apparently these have independent wiper motors so there's a motor there and a motor at that side because they come up that way okay and these motors talk to each other well I think these two motors have had a divorce because they ain't talking so obviously the two wipers are clashing in the middle so I've had to take the passenger one off that's a quick cure and I've just looked on eBay and the, uh, <laughs> the it's a remortgage re I think for a wiper motor so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but I've got to strip all the scuttle down to get to it but this one's working that one ain't and when it does intermittently it's obviously the timings out so only Citroen can devise that so that's it that's me troubles mend it Monday so anyway, back to the Leyland. Let's uh, let's get them bits painted up, get it back on, and that's that job out of the way. Then at least that one's finished, and we can uh, we can move forward. Shot blaster. Going to put these uh, components in the shot blaster. Hopefully, clean them up. Uh, it's a little bit awkward, but um, yeah, get them in, and we'll uh, we'll see them when they come out. See what they come out like. Here we go. Wow, look at these. That's the pin. That's the uh, shackle attachment. And that's a spring nice we'll take that i think Get some primer on them now a bit of paint right for no specific reason i've decided to go with a little bit of kabuta orange <laughs> which is just left in a can so I'm just going to give it a quick coat of this. Doesn't really matter. It's all going to come off anyway once it starts working. But 
just so it stands out against the blue. Just got a little bit in a can left, so may as well use it up. Just hooked it on a piece of wire in my uh, paint department. That's that. Just let that dry, give it another couple of coats, and uh, it should just stand out on the drawbar so you can see it. There we go, that's all fitted. Uh, painted it kabuta orange for no no apparent reason other than we've got a bit of paint left in a tin. Um, that's the nuts we've welded together. Adjustable threaded bar. That's a new piece we've made. Clevis pin, split pin, return spring. Uh, I've mended that. That spring was on there, but it wasn't welded on that end. So now it, it wants to flick back, which is a good thing. Uh, and then just painted that. So now... When you pull the hydraulics up, it lifts up, comes out of the way, drops down. Job's a good one. That's another little job ticked off the list. Next thing now is uh, get the roof back on, get that bolted down. Right, so promised you a look at the Manitou. I did say that uh, the Duke and Bob had got this in pits. They've had this hub off and done the top bushes in there, and the, like the kingpin type arrangement, and in the bottom they've been renewed. Same on the other side. They've done that, got it all back together, and uh, they've this pin here that holds that hydraulic ram on they've knackered that up between them the threads have gone so they've ordered a new one that should be coming today so we can get that back together then we can get this wheel on and that's done so then the Manitou's had all new pins and shackles and bushes all the way around on the sort of steering they've greased the um, U, uh, UJ joints inside the constant velocity joints they've been greased inside because you can't get to them without taking it to bits so they've been done um what else oh yeah the uh, joy the joystick control in the cab that's this little thing here not that you can see or not but that's very very worn inside so we've had all that to bits and uh, basically opened a can of worms and yesterday they managed to get it back together with the instruction sheet there look that's the exploded diagram and they've had all that in bits on the bench and we got it back together uh, Farmstar sent us that thank you very much to Farmstar so we've got that together it, it works but we we adjusted the stops so we've got to set them in a bit and then the Duke's ordered four new boots for it. Because these are uh, nearly Lewis Hamilton's, these aren't they? There's not much tread on them. So we've ordered four new boots, so that'll probably be in another video fitting them. Uh, and then, on this end here, apparently, so I've been told where the cables from the cab joystick come in, we're going to take that to bits in a minute and have a look at that and photograph it because. The Duke's ordering a new joystick 
because that one's too worn. So he's going to order a new joystick and we're going to try and fit that on so that'll be another video. So that's an update on the Manitou. So hopefully we're going to get that bolt in today, get the wheel back on and this will be running because it's got a trailer full of straw to unload in the morning to go in the straw barn. Calves have just been fed. They're happy as Larry. And uh, Cat's been fed as well. He's there. And he's somewhere in that wood pile. Just got to coax him out. He'll come and take that in a bit. And uh, Buzz's here overseeing the operation. We're just going to go and get a battery and go and check on the sheep. And. Uh, We'll make sure everything's all right up there up on bradley's ranch there's the cat eating the cat food the smell just wafts into the um into the log pile draws her out she's uh she's in charge of ratting salem the cat farm rat catcher right we'll take this one i think about fully charged. Oh, let's go. Oh. Well, they're getting down this grass anyway. A bit foggy up here this morning on the tops. Just about to see the mast. Yeah, there's a, definitely a change in the colour. All accounted for. Everybody seems to be there. Still wet though, still wet and boggy. Right, that's uh, reserve battery on. That other battery's a bit big and heavy to carry all the way down there to the next field. Right down there to where the truck is, so uh, I'll wait. I'll wait till I come back with the tractor. Probably Saturday. Saturday morning we'll come up with it. Like I said, it's still uh, still very wet. A little bit swampy, as they say. And uh, I've had to leave the truck over there because it'll get stuck in this lot. Especially with the tyres I've got on. So, uh, yeah. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that little short video. We mended the tractor hitch, diagnosed the fault with the wipers on the car, we mended the alternator on the van, we've uh, done the, um, had a quick look at the Manor 2 for you. So I'm just looking where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna sink here. The ground is that sloppy. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. It's a nice, miserable, cold, foggy day up on the tops of the hills, so everything's good. See you in the next video.